I had a question about how to use a 360 video rather than a 360 image as your background in this tutorial. So I thought I would make a little addendum and show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get a 360 video. I just randomly found a free one online which suited this. You'll then want to create a folder for this. I'm going to call the folder videos 360. And here's my video and I'm just going to drag it in and place it here. And now you can see the video is part of my project. The next thing you're going to want to do is drag your video into your hierarchy. I'm just going to rename this. Now over here you're going to need to change a few settings. The first setting you're going to want to change is you're going to want to render to a texture. And you're going to want to change the aspect ratio to stretch. And finally, I'm just going to turn the audio off. If you want the audio, I'd recommend adding an audio source and using that, but I'm just going to turn the audio off for now. Next, you're going to want to go into your materials. And you're going to create a new material. And it's going to be a render texture. Let's call this 360 movie. I'm going to up the resolution of this a little bit. I'm going to go back to my shower pause video. I'm going to drag that 360 movie into the render texture slot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace my creek with the video, with the 360 video that I have. So for my creek 360 material, you can see here at the moment, I just have an image selected. All you need to do instead is drag this 360 movie and replace it up here. You'll see that everything will go black, but that's okay, because when you press play, you now have the video of the falls. And it's as simple as that to add a 360 video instead of a 360 image to this. Do remember that if you add lots of them, it's obviously going to increase the size of your projects because 360 videos can be quite large. So I'd recommend if you're going to do this, don't use the highest quality setting and try to find videos that are sort of 100 or 200 megabytes rather than gigabytes and gigabytes. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I try to reply to them all.